Hey there friends, Jim Miller with Pure Gravel coming at you with another interview here on the scene. BWR Cedar City, the pre-ride show presented by LEL Cycling. Get a chance to spend a few minutes with Freddie Yvette, Legion of Los Angeles Cycling. Freddie, how you doing, man? Thanks Good for joining man. us. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, is this your first BWR? It's my first BWR, yeah. Okay. And it looks like uh, an interesting one to, to crack into it. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, finished the, the single track section. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. So I, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. A lot of gravel races under your belt already, or do you focus mostly on the road um, and the, the road racing yeah, scene? Yeah, I, I mean, I live in Spain, and the scene's a bit different there, but yeah, I've done a few races over there. I did Steamboat, uh, I guess it was a couple of months ago. You're then, on the podium there. Yeah, so that, that was solid. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to dip my toes in, and it's going well, and just want to keep on rolling with the big races like this. And your team certainly is in the in the in the press a lot for all the right reasons. Yeah. So many good things are happening with the sport, and you guys are at kind of the the, the front of that in terms of driving that. What's that like um, on that team? The the energy, the 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 motivation that comes through just being on that team. Oh, it's awesome. I was saying to my friend earlier, it's 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 a privilege to to ride for Legion. You know, there's, there's only ten of us really on, on the men's side, and. Uh, yeah, to, to represent this jersey and, and see what it means to people, especially in the States. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm from Europe. So when I come across here, I, I can see the impact it has and how stoked people are just what we're doing on the bike, off the bike and and the community that's that's behind us. So it's it's special and, and I'm just so stoked to, uh, to to bring Legion to gravel as well. You know, right it's, uh, we've, we've got a few guys who who enjoy the off road. Lance Hayden's it's over doing some uh, big CX races at the moment as well. So um, yeah, we're, we're not just a crit team. Well, not just a crit team, but you managed to pull together a big fat purse for a big crit coming up here. We did, we did, yeah. So hopefully we can have a few gravel races uh, get on the road uh, one time uh, before the season's over. So uh, yeah, uh, that's coming up pretty soon, October 30 um, in Sacramento out there. So yeah, anyone who can come out and uh, support the the Legion tribe uh, will be stoked to have you. That's great. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Stebo, you were on the podium there. Um, there's a lot of talk these days about rules in gravel. Uh, Steambo <laughs> takes a particular position, which yeah. I, I definitely appreciate. Yeah. Do you have any perspective on um, that and in terms of what this evolving world of totally. gravel? I mean, and, like oh. the, the, the beauty of gravel right now is it's new. It's like a baby, you know, you don't know how it's going to grow, how quickly it's going to grow, what characteristics it's going to have. And, and right now everyone's loving it and it's something that uh people are still learning in how they can do well in races and some people have figured out some pretty interesting way to do well in races and some people are old school and just like to like look you know we all uh, ride as hard as we can and the best guy wins all female and um i i can understand the gray areas but um i come i come from a little bit old school that yeah if you're in a group you ride with that group as hard as you can and uh you know whoever crosses the line first usually uh, is, is the best one and, and that's why gravel's so cool is that it, it's a fair race usually you know, yeah the, the, you know and you get in what you put out and sometimes you don't get that on the road sometimes you don't get that in crits you know they're, they're really technical and things can go wrong as they can do in gravel but you've got a lot of time to work it out um obviously with the news of the uci world championships that's sort of taken uh the gravel world by storm but my my opinion on that is that really only affects a very 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 small portion of riders mm -hmm, who are mm -hmm. going to be selected to do that uh event and if they want to do that great you know go for it you know they they're obviously that competitive end of the gravel scene and and the rest that they're, they're probably just you know, going to have nothing to do with it apart from spectating and so you know uh, i come from a running background where marathon running is kind of similar to gravel racing where it's mass participation and and it would be similar to someone who's just competing a marathon sort of having a stance on how they should do the olympics uh, right. they're probably not going to be able to do that race any time in the future but they do the same event so they therefore have an opinion about it so i totally get it um but those top end people are super competitive people and they probably want to be super competitive at a world championship event i certainly do i'm, I'm I, I definitely would love to do it um but i can see how this really cool niche community is maybe starting to feel a bit of uh like their baby's getting taken away by a, a bigger force. So. And there's, uh, there's a big, there's a, a big, I think, voice out there to keep gravel gravel, right? Yeah, we don't totally. want to roadie our gravel totally. world and I mean, yeah. place all these rules and structure over it. Yet, yeah. if we're going to race, we got to have some rules. Rules require exactly. racing. Yeah, and I, I, 
I don't think world championships and things, events like this, is that's not going to stop races like BWI and right. stop making how cool they are and why gravel is cool. I don't think that essence is ever going to be taken away. It's just the top guys will maybe one of them have will have a world championship jersey on mm-hmm. because he won this race earlier in Europe that that we got to see on TV or something. You know, yeah. I, I think it's it's a big deal, but it's not going to be something that is going to detriment or already the amazing scene that gravel is in the US. Yeah. Like, you guys are killing it here, like. Gravel racing is US, you know, and Europe and UCI, they're not going to take that away because they don't know how to do it like you guys do. Simple as that. That I think that speaks volumes. That's yeah, rad. Yeah, totally. Um, you've had a chance to check out the course at all? Or? Yeah, I did the single track, as I said, and yeah, I mean, I, I did a bit of research and I kind of figured that it, it it is what it was, what I saw today. And yeah, it's, I don't guess, 20, 25, 30 minutes of quite intense racing uh, where you really need to be focused. Otherwise, yeah, things could go pear shape potentially pretty quickly um and it comes at the very end of the race so it's easy to do it now when i'm fresh and all uh caffeined up for my morning coffee but when i'm just you know five and a half hours deep into a race i don't know what can happen so i'll, I'll deal with it when i get there you know i think that's the, the mentality most people take yeah into it. you just yeah see what happens yeah and I, I think too as a as a fan and watching you guys race as hard as you do these seem to be a little more of a race of attrition and then you said there's a, that that nice explosion at the end when totally. things really get whittled down yeah. is that how you've seen most of these longer yeah, format races go I, I think i think like the single track for example a lot of people can like probably freak out about it and think too much about it and it might be one of those things when we get there and the race is already kind of made and it doesn't really matter you just get through it and you're still in the same position i think that might be the case with that super hard climb before it and um but yeah it, it's cool you know like uh, I think a lot of people can say, well, that's not gravel, that's more mountain bike, but you know, you, you can easily ride a bike quite fast through that section, a, a gravel yeah. bike that is, so why, why wouldn't you include it? You know, and um, I think that's what makes this race unique, uh, that section in particular, because you don't really see that any, anywhere else, to yeah. be honest, from what I've seen. And that, again, that's the beauty of the sport exactly. and events like BWR, yeah, they're it's, all it's, unique it's, and it's very different. Court, you know, it's, it's, your, it's your race, you can do what you want with it, and it's up to us to do our best with it. Right on. Yeah. I think you're going to do really well. It's going to be I fun watching so. you. I hope so, man. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said, I actually had a really rough experience my last time in Cedar City. I was stagiaring with BMC and I crashed hard halfway through the stage at Tour of Utah. Oh, man. Okay. And uh, that's why I've got a bunch of these gnarly scars. So I'm, I'm trying to trying to get a bit of a better vibe going from Let's Cedar City. Let's get some redemption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. No, I'm stoked to be here, man. Thanks cool. for having me. Thanks for sitting down with no us. No worries. Good luck on that redemption tour tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie Ovet, Legion of Los Angeles, joining us here on the pre-ride show presented by LEL Cycling. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so you get notifications of all the episodes that drop while we're here in Cedar City. Thanks for looking in.